All right, guys. Welcome back to VHB Engines. For uh, we have ourselves some multitasking. We're gonna do two engines today. Well, I'm gonna do one. And his guy is gonna start his first independent build. Shout out for Kino. <sighs> gonna do himself here start on an ace way too this is it's a funny story behind this one right here this was actually the block that one was the block that uh, was sold using my fucking pictures um, after the whole fucking incident happened the guy said he was gonna sell it because the guy wasn't gonna pay him back his money and shit and uh, it disappeared for a while I thought somebody had already bought it and then it popped back up again the guy had posted it for a hundred bucks and I I was gonna buy it, but then I realized, you know, I was kind of like breaking my shit that I was saying. I was saying I don't want to buy any more engines, so I had to force myself to pass it up, and I decided it'd be a good idea to let this guy fucking right here get it because it's cheap and something with the H22 you can't really lose your fucking money because the money you from I mean you can sell the head to make twice the money off of it easy. So yeah, so now i'm gonna probably crack this fucking girdle back off because it was a little bit premature for me to fucking put it on to begin with and crack open this here tool this right here i'm actually kind of pumped to use this this last time i built a forged engine which was the one for the eg and the one for that fucking uh, the sedan and the hatch i said to myself i'd never do it again i never fucking do a fucking an engine where i gotta cut the fuck out of piston rings without having that tool because grinding piston rings fucking sucks I usually have it not the way I like it, so let's see if this tool fucking makes a difference. Alrighty. Pop in right quick, show you something, something. For uh, when you're fucking around with doing some floating pistons or whatever, or even if you're doing with stock ones, although stock ones are easier because of course the fucking the piston domes are, are marked and they'll have the arrow point towards timing and they'll have the eye in for intake, so it makes it like really simple and easy. But these are not so, uh, you know, distinct. So, what you'll take note of is the, the tangs for the bearings. Uh, those. Fuck. Anyway, the fucking the tang markings where the bearing like kind of like clips in place. That's facing the exhaust. That's exhaust side, right? And then you look at your pistons, and you see the dish is deeper on this side than it is on that side. This is your intake side. So intake. Exhaust, exhaust, and there you go. It's a fucking piston. All right, so uh, the uh, C clips are a little bit of a fucking pain in the ass, but you'll see here that you got like this little little divot. What I like to try and do is um, give me a set of needle nose. Those use needle nose, and I like I like I put the the C clip on there with the opening the clip facing that way and put one side in and then I I try to push in the C clip into that groove so that way I have something I can back off of easier um, also you, you want to be real real careful because those, those those C clips with you they come loose they'll fucking fly out you don't want them hitting in your eye or fucking actually you know what it probably would be better for it to hit you in the fucking eyeball at least you'll know where it's at instead of it bouncing across the fucking room so anyway, yeah, kind of like you, you, I use the thumb to like kind of hold my thumb over the other side of the C clip while I'm pushing in where the hole or the nub is, so that way uh, I can, if it does kind of come loose, I got control of where it's gonna go to, or if it does pop, it's not gonna go far, and it's not gonna hurt you, so you don't have to worry about that. Don't be a fucking pussy, you know. All right, so I'm gonna get my rings out, and I'm gonna get ready to. Use that choppy thingy there, grind in stone. It's gonna be fun. All right, here I got my little tool set up, and I'm fucking pumped. I've been waiting like fucking forever to use this thing. My wife actually bought this for me as a Christmas present, and you know? I think it was Christmas, maybe it was birthday. Whatever, it's been a long time. Even before I got it, I was waiting to use it. I've always had my eyes on it, but it was expensive, and I'm Jewish, so I don't like to buy tools that are expensive. Even though I've already done that a bunch of times. Uh, okay, so normally I would take my dull ass file, and I would uh. Fucking whiz in out there, crack, and fucking hack away at it until I got to where I needed to be. But as from now on, I have this fancy dancy tool thing it's to keep it perfect, to keep it perfectly straight. And I would say this is the best money I ever spent, but my wife spent the money, so it's the best money my wife has ever spent. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right. So, yep. Uh, you lay it in there. So that way you're hitting the post. That way it doesn't fucking move. And then I'm going to grind away. All righty. Pop it in right here again right quick. This fucking H22 with the pan off now. Fucking, you'll see right here. Ugh. Are you hear it? Crunchy? Yeah, I hear crunchy. Well, anyway. It's fucking. It's motherfucking metal. Yeah. So this was that freshly rebuilt fucking H22 right there. There's a good amount of rust in the fucking, on the fucking, uh, baffle right there. All right. Hopefully that crank isn't too bad. Uh, it's for expedience sake, uh, not seeing many H22 cranks for sale, we are most likely going to take that to the machine shop and have it ground down. Go with some oversized bearings. Yep. Okay, so I am in with a verdict. Uh, can't fucking see again. Dark problems. Ah, you see it? Okay, anyway. I have never got rings as fast as I have just now with that little motherfucker right there. Now, with that being said, it's a little bit more difficult to use than I had anticipated. You gotta really keep a good uh, grip on it. But I will say that while I was sitting there fucking working away at that little thing, I'm looking at the ring like, am I doing anything? And uh, gave it a couple more fucking cranks and put it back in there to check it out. And I, I did, I was fucking, I took off a good amount of material without a lot of effort. But um, on, a, on, a, on a shitty note is, if you're not really careful with the amount of pressure you apply and, and the right amount at the right angle you put on it, uh, it will taper. I started to get a little bit of taper going off when I first started, but by the time I finished the ring, the taper is, is gone. Now I don't see it anymore. All right. So I fucking, I recommend it. I, I recommend getting one of those, man. It fucking, it's awesome. All right. This thing is... Finally fucking finished. And by finished, I mean business and rods in. And still got quite a bit of work left. Um, guess final thoughts in this song of it is that uh, it's spinning a little rougher than normal. I would the normal I would expect. It's like it takes a little bit more effort to rotate the crank, but it doesn't get stuck or anything. It's not like scary rotation, but um. The same shit happened with the B20V, where it act, actually the B20V got stuck when I was spinning it, and I freaked out a little bit, and, and now the motor's running and everything's fine. So I guess uh, some are just a little stiffer than others. Um, so I guess my... Uh, I, I learned some tricks with that, that little grinder, grinder thingy over there, and I made it a little bit faster to... So it, it does it does really help a lot. It does keep all the lines straight. So it's definitely it is. I stayed with that. What I said earlier that it's worth buying. Um. Uh, I just gotta tap the oil pan now, clean up the baffle, put it back on. It's all minor stuff, and I think like normally, like I normally say, is uh, I'm not gonna not gonna make another segment of this build for putting the head on and minor stuff. Um. I guess you'll just you guys will see it next time when I go to put it in the car and have the swap ready. Uh, taking a little vacation here in like two weeks, take a a short week off, and I'm gonna try and have the swap in the Integra by then. Uh, as far as the H22 goes, long while cleaning it, we found there's a fucking hole like somebody fucking screwed a bolt all the way through the fucking block and into the cylinder. It's a I think it can be saved though. If, if I can find somebody to weld a hole like this big for a not so hefty price, uh, it's definitely still runnable. I guess the block depends on whether whether or not we can find cheap enough labor, because we're already going to be cutting the crank and then cutting the uh, you know welding the block too. So at that point, like cut the losses, whether it's cheaper to get like an F22 block to go from there or something. Probably is. But we'll see. Uh, updates with that will be later, probably in. Two weeks. Uh, there is a, there's a, a good chance that I won't be in here next weekend. Uh, maybe I don't know I, if I can. I still have plenty of fucking work to do. I, I need to do the um, 
the B16 and I still need to strip down the other B18 I have, I have plenty of fucking work to do I might I might try to cram some extra shit in the in the, the week that I'm off but most likely I'll just be 100% focused on um, getting the integra ready to go and as far as my four door at home I got some minor things to do I got you know swap out the fucking turbo which I was going to do today but I didn't have the right size wrench to take off the bolt so Swap out the turbo and put the new mounts on. I checked both the mounts. It's not just my side mount that's fucked up. The driver's side, it's also the rear one. The rear one is fucking bad. So uh, I, I need a, one of my low pro jackets fucked up. I, I need another one of those so I can jack up the car and jack up the engine. Or maybe I'll take my cherry picker, I don't know. Um, it looks like it's gonna be all for today. It's a, it was a four hour night, which is typical. Typical night. I'm gonna, gonna wrap things up and fucking head out. Uh.